I think most people can actually understand it once you begin to actually unpack the word Anthropocene. This great acceleration in human impact on the planet has pushed Earth out of this um, Holocene stability and into a new geological epoch. Everybody has to define it and have a, not necessarily a common understanding, but different understandings that have a common goal. The classic definition you would, you would fold into geology, but this really is about not only science, but human responsibility and sustainability for the planet. Sustainability is not going to happen there and not happen here. And it is certainly not going to happen to the world if it doesn't happen in Africa, to India, and to China. What, what an amazing juncture to be alive. <laughs> Humanity was mostly a dribble uh, for most of its existence, and then there's been Zoom, and now within the lives of most everyone who's alive right now, that something different is coming. I am most interested in this transition between a state in which humans were a part of the world to a state in which humans had fundamental capacity to change the world. And I think that's the state we're in now. Which then prompts the question, what do we do about that? How can we actually change the trajectories that we're on? This is the first magazine devoted to the concept of the Anthropocene. We've taken on this challenge because I don't think you can change the world without having conversations that just fundamentally aren't happening today. We want to bring together some of the most creative scientists, entrepreneurs, business people, policy makers. Artists and writers and musicians and poets. To explore what do we need to do to create a human age that we want to live in. If the world is going to understand science, it's not because they're going to read a scientific article. It is going to be because we tell compelling stories. I read something terribly good last year in a magazine called The Anthropocene. I'd like to have those sort of stories, the stories that, that make people turn the world just through a few degrees so that they see things completely differently, uh, not just while they're reading it, but from then on. We need the story behind the science. We need the story in front of the science. We need the provocative questions. We need the engagement of society to create the change that's required. The actors are there, but we don't have a stage. And, and I think that this particular um, magazine provides that. Science discovery, hugely important. A voice and a story for the future of the planet, essential. <laughs>